Hey all, Hiba here. So we are taking out one of the first premiums that was ever available in the game. Uh, I th I'm, it might actually be the first. I think Indianapolis was one of the absolute first ones and Yubari was perhaps just before it. I can't remember anymore, but uh, here it is. And uh, it's a cruiser. Well, actually, it's more like a destroyer with a citadel, actually. <laughs> um, it's a fun ship to play. Um, it is quite rewarding um, and uh, obviously I played with an agile build here so uh, let's just look at my build so I am using Mikawa the same setup I use on uh, Atago with Baltimore and Tesla and then I ingenious full speed ahead velocious steer clear and fully packed so uh, on the ship you have got two upgrades here the aiming systems mod which is like minus 40 dispersion which is pretty crazy and then aiming systems again so this thing is, uh, you know, pretty accurate. I mean, you can hit uh, the ear of a rat from 10 kilometers away or something like, you know, it's accurate. Um, it's not a damage outputting ship. Um, it does have torpedoes, but the angles uh, to fire them are very, very, very restrictive. Um, you have to be full broadside and you only have a very very tiny window to actually fire them um, so most of your damage will be done with the guns which is um, pretty hard sometimes <laughs> because yeah the guns are super accurate uh, but the damage output like I said it is not the best I mean your reload is quite slow actually um, and although you always hit with your shots except when the DDs move uh, then you have to rely on fires pretty much in this ship to put up some good uh, damage numbers. Uh, the AP is also situational at best. Um, I tend to get a lot of, well, nothing when I use the AP and I'll show you that in this match as well. Uh, perhaps a full AG AP build could, you know, help a little bit on that. But then on the other hand, why build uh, this ship that has let's face it quite a few downsides um, into a pure AP build I think uh, I think there are other builds that are better for this ship here um, so I just rely on HE pretty much and uh, you know to annoy destroyers like this when uh, you can uh, you can just direct the shots exactly where you want them and um, it's quite easy actually uh, it's a fun ship and uh, it's one of the most agile ships down here the load Tears, if not the most agile, the rudder is just about three seconds, and uh, as you can see, the turning radius is like destroyer style. So uh, it's quick and maneuverable, and you'll need that, um, especially in battles with lots of battleships, where you are, of course, uh, one of the the targets number one. Uh, you have no consumables; you don't even have sonar. So um, it's uh, it's all about wiggling and uh, using the terrain to your advantage. Uh, if you can pull that off, then uh, you can just set one fire after a fire and just keep that going pretty much. Um, sometimes, like in this battle here, ING just says, no, you're not gonna get any fires. And then it's hard to put up some convincing damage numbers in this ship here. Um, so I tend to go for destroyers almost exclusively when I play Yubari because it's just, uh, it's just easier to remove them from the map with these kind of lackluster guns here than it is to burn down a battleship because that takes, well, you'll never finish is pretty much the point here. <laughs> so uh, low tier cruisers with a rudder down here in the area of three seconds, it's almost unheard of. And uh, this is, we're at tier three here. Uh, and I don't know why that is because uh, it would just be so much more fun if uh, the cruisers down here were able to be agile as well uh, especially because the battleships at the low tiers they are just so powerful and uh, the same with the destroyers I mean none of the cruisers have radar or anything so uh, they can't really overmatch battleship shells um, so yeah it's kind of a, a battleship and cruisers paradise down here in tier 3 so uh, in my opinion, what's really needed down here is uh, Agile Cruisers. It would certainly make me play the lower tiers a lot more. Uh, imagine if all the cruisers got the third uh, rudder upgrade down here. Um, I think it would open up a whole new um, 
you know, world of cruiser play down here at the low tiers. And I, for one, would be, you know, fully interested in that. So uh, this Kuma here, he is proving a little bit too difficult to uh, take out. He's angled and uh, I have to switch to HE. And it's going to take a while, so uh, that's why I just... I pretended I was going to disengage and then he switched targets and uh, that's what I wanted. As you can see, the torpedo angles are just very, very difficult to uh, to make use of. Um, I will actually use them in this battle here in the end, so uh, I will show it off. But uh, that's a very narrow cone you have there to fire and uh, getting into a position to fire them is also quite difficult. The Agile build helps out a lot in that respect, um, simply because you can turn so quickly, so you can show your full broadside, fire your torpedoes, and uh, angle back in quite quickly. Um, so, we kept this Kuma here from capping, and uh, we just sneak in for the kill there as well. Well, I think that's fair enough. I think I spent a lot of time on that guy. So, we're going to move in towards C now, because there's only two cruisers left and a carrier. So uh, we're going to get into a more aggressive position here because there's less ships now and there's not many ships left to citadel me from odd angles. And we're just going to have a check here. And there's a Katori in the battle and there it is. And that's a pretty terrible cruiser right there. That is not going to work with an anti out build. <laughs> I mean, that is that thing is so slow. I think it goes barely 20 knots. Um, I actually think the rudder is quite quick. Uh, but the ship itself is just, well, it's, it's near useless, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you have it, try to take it out if you, you know, fancy a laugh. But uh, it's not exactly uh, my pick. But anyway, it is nice to have at least one Agile Cruiser down here at Tier 3 that I can go down and play once in a while. I just wish... It was a little bit more fun to play than Yubari. I mean, it's, it's not that Yubari is boring or bad to play or anything like that. It's just that uh, you don't have many tools. I mean, all you can do is sail around and shoot. You cannot ambush destroyers uh, in a cap because you don't have a sonar. And uh, you can't ambush battleships because you don't have uh, very nice torpedo angles. And uh, it's just... It's just... Uh, it's a nice start. But uh, I hope we get another premium... Uh, low tier cruiser that's actually agile at some point um, who knows when that'll be like the um, the Murmansk that you can buy for steel uh, is actually quite agile um, I think it's a tier 4 and uh, I think the rudder on that thing can go down just above 3 seconds I believe so um, but obviously well you have to pay steel to get it and uh, as much as I like that, uh, I have to remember that uh, Omaha, which is pretty much the same as Murmansk, is pretty much the ship I hate the most in the game. And I keep telling myself that every time I'm tempted to buy Murmansk, and uh, yeah, I still haven't done it. <laughs> so, we're gonna ambush this Katori here, nice tier 2. And uh, still no citadels, I just think, uh, like I said before, I don't think the AP on the ship is is very good, to be honest. So uh, instead, I'm just going to say, okay, I'm just going to torp him then. Uh, <laughs> and uh, look how slow this thing is. It's just uh, it's just a barge, really. So, turning around here, and we actually get to torp someone in our Yubari here. Amazing, that doesn't happen very often. He does take out my engine here, but that's okay, there's only one cruiser left, so... Uh, We'll just wait the 36 seconds here until uh, I'm back in business. No, don't worry. We're going to win this battle far before that. Uh, there's only this Friang left here and uh, I'm just waiting for one of the others to uh, to remove him off the map so we can finish this battle here. So I'm at 36,000 uh, damage. It's not amazing, uh, but I've done a lot here. Four kills. like. One shared cap, eight defense and torp hits and stuff. So uh, a pretty good battle here. And uh, we've been wiggling a lot, which is uh, obviously what I like. So uh, nearly 2000 XP here down at tier three. So uh, that's pretty good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you out there.